Hello, my name is Lauren Camp and I'm in Santa Fe, New Mexico, where the birds are outside chirping. It's a beautiful uh, early autumn day. Um, I'm going to read you a couple of poems. The first one is uh, actually takes place in Bridgewater from when I was there last year for the festival. The entire surface of uncertainty. I didn't want to be alone with minutes, hours, cast toward church and night. A man drove by in a cart, a basset hound hanging off. A shingled house swung a fish crow from its top. Paint flaked, unsure what to hold to. I was walking time away. Dogwoods opened. Clouds pooled around the steeple, dead bees on the concrete. How long could I look by myself? Isn't that all the shame, those slow, sultry moments I had? I found a table of young people eating sweet puffed cereal and milk, peach ice cream. They talked about golf and rap, death and prosthetic legs. So innocent, the machinery of this conversation. They recovered me. I lived more as they laughed, sonorous. Forgive me, I loved the hour there, its coquettish ignorance. Nothing much mattered. I was reminded of safety, the pattern of moments going from one to another. Content, older, and listener. When I said goodbye, I hugged each. One young woman, her face full speckled with leftover acne, grabbed me to her, whispered, I don't want you to leave, I'll miss you. I could tell her the purpose of loss, how raptors circle the squirrel, but why disturb her future? Why give her away to see nothing is left? It took me years to figure out, years to grow up, and then unlearn it, go on. So that brings me to uh, my new book, Took House, and I'm gonna read you one poem from this. I'll read you the final poem in the book, which will give you no sense of the story, um, but it's the wrap up poem. It's called Homeostasis Autumn. A day that stayed in place, inaudible, from dawn to the strike of evening. Enough time to rest and plunge back across the pebbles to my pens and desk. A squash we didn't plant has come in gold across the aspen roots. Two hawks burst over claiming a rotating sky. The desert, Normally dry, emits a faint scent, the damp wisp of cedar. Water has gathered in holes we dug. This is why the pangs of time are necessary. To the east, mountains bracket the distance, releasing their images silver on blue. The whole day has nearly disappeared and night is a ruffle about to blossom. Thank you. Be safe.